go places. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 11, two big stories as we come on the air. The same divers who rescued those four children from the cave in Thailand right now preparing to go back in and resume their dangerous mission to save more kids and the soccer team's coach. Tonight, tens of thousands of people left without power as they try to stay cool during this heat wave. The strain on the system proving to be just too much for the aging electrical infrastructure. Good evening, I'm Veronica Miracle in for Giovanna Lara. And I'm Jory Rand. This is Eyewitness News at 11. We have live team coverage of this blistering heat wave, including why so many are still without power. We begin with Danny Romero and a first check of our hot but cooling forecast. Danny. Yeah, and that's a relative term, of course, cooling. Looking out right now, we're in Southern California. How about down to Long Beach? A few clouds there, a little marine layer, very little, very thin, but some cooling. 74 degrees there at Long Beach right now. Checking out in we go. Now, Van Nuys. Different story there. A little bit warmer. 83 degrees because that's kind of how it's still setting up. Inland spots are still warm. 